Hey guys, okay, so a lot of you asked me about how I do my brows and why they look so nice. Personally, I don't feel like they look that great, but they're getting better compared to where they used to come from. We'll just go with that. So some of the products that um, I've recently been using is this Chella Clear Brow Gel. Um, I mean, everybody has their preference, but I've had this for a while, so I thought I would try it, and I've been using it every day, and for the most part, I absolutely love it. So usually I'll start with that and I just kind of with the front part from um, a couple of eyebrow people that I know, they brush the front up and then kind of sweep it back and then the back end of it always goes down. Otherwise you have nice hair sticking straight out. Granted, I have not gotten my eyebrows tweezed, waxed or anything in so long. I've just been like trimming them kind of to maintain a little bit of it, but they're they're not that great. So working on it, they were better when I was in Reno. So here I just kind of brush through the gel with, I have the Benefit brush, the eyebrow brush where it's a spoolie on one side and like the angled on the other. Um, and then my favorite thing that I have now acquired is this from Benefit. It's the brow palette and I absolutely love it. Um, it has the waxes too if you prefer that over like a gel. Um, I don't personally and I haven't had time to really play around with them but they have it in there so it's like a one-stop shop and it comes with brushes I just don't have them in there. Um, and then I just kind of start in the front at the bottom and just brush it as I go. I don't really know Everybody has like a different starting point. A lot of people start in the back. I don't know, I, I start in like the front, I guess, and then work my way to the middle to the back. Um, but you'll find your own groove. If you wanna start in the front, start in the front. If you wanna start in the back, start in the back. Um, and then you just kinda try and follow the curvature of your eyebrow. And then as you going, you know, you're gonna get product on your face. So just kinda brush it, you know, lightly. You don't have to like, forcefully drag it through your eyebrow because you have that gel that it's clinging to or if you like wax um, better then you could use that so it's just kind of kind of what I do and then I work my way back to the front trying to just kind of sweep it as lightly as possible And my eyebrows never look the same, but they're supposed to be sisters, not twins. A good lesson I learned a long time ago when I first tried to start doing eyebrows. And it's just never easy to do your own eyebrows. It's easier to do somebody else's, I've learned. I mean, that could just be me. If you do eyebrows professionally, your eyebrows always look good. But I'm not a professional eyebrow person, so mine only look good when they feel like it. And I always sweep the extra product off my face. This fan brush is like by day one. I've had this thing for like six years. And it's it's getting there. It's had its numbered days. But always sweep off the extra product because it will end up on your face. And then you will have all kinds of fun little brown. Or if you have black eyebrows everywhere, you'll have like little dark dots. And it's very fun. I also have this brow from Benefit. This is a good one to start with if you don't really know where you're going because it tells you where to put the color. I just use an all around one color, but this is definitely what I would recommend to start with because it, it gives you, you know, lighter in the front and darker in the back, which is technically how you're supposed to do it. I just kind of do my own thing. But it comes with this little brush thing. It's like a little sponge and I always use it to like go around and kind of clean up around my eyebrows to try and help maintain the curvature that I want. And if there's like, you know, sometimes, you know, it's a coloring book, you know, clean up around it, keep everything inside the lines kind of thing. And then, you know, I try and check them. You see how they're a little different. So I try, I try and keep them as close as possible, but it's not very easy. Cause again, they're supposed to be sisters, not twins, but make sure you always brush through it to keep as least amount of product just chilling in your eyebrows so you know if you sneeze or blink or something you don't have an eyebrow falling off your face so that's basically all I do for my eyebrows you know I just try and keep them as close as possible I gotta fix them a little bit but that's really all I do um, and then I always setting spray 
you know, I've got Morphe and Urban Decay, whatever you want. I always layer my makeup on to keep it, you know, as still and non-moving as possible, especially if you sweat a lot like me. Definitely want to layer that setting spray in. If you have any more questions, let me know.